Hi everyone! I am Miss Millie and I teach in the green class and I am missing my CFC friends. But we are so excited to be able to share the Bible story with you this morning. I have a few helpers to help me. This is my daughter B. Hello. And my son Teddy. Hello. And we are so excited to tell you about Pentecost. But one thing we need to make sure and remember is that we know that the Bible is what? True, true, true. 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 All right, let's say a little prayer before we read our story. Dear God, thank you so much for our CFC family and especially our CFC kids. Lord, we miss them, but we know that you are taking care of us all. And Lord, help us just to have a um, opening hearts and opening ears so that we can hear your word and your story today. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Amen. Hey friends, I really miss you because I know you always see me when my mommy is teaching. And today I'm going to read, Jesus Sends the Holy Spirit. King Jesus sent his friends to tell the world about him. But he also gave them a promise. Do you remember what Jesus promised to give his friends? Jesus said, I will send my Holy Spirit to go with you. The Holy Spirit is God, just like Jesus and the Father are God. All three are one one God. We can't see the Holy Spirit. Oh, he does not have a body like ours, but he, but the Holy Spirit is God, and he lives with everyone who trusts in Jesus. Jesus, Jesus's friends remembered his promise, and they waited for a the Holy Spirit. They prayed and they waited. Then they prayed and waited some more. Suddenly, Jesus' friends heard a loud rushing sound. Whoosh! They saw strange little flames of fire over each person's head. The Holy Spirit had come. The friends went outside to tell the people about Jesus. Jesus died for you because he loves you. He does? We believe in King Jesus. Many people heard the good news and trusted in King Jesus. The Holy Spirit helped thousands of people become a part of God's new kingdom. What a great story. Now I have a little question for you. Who can help us tell people about Jesus? We trust in Jesus. The Holy Spirit lives with us. And the Holy Spirit helps us tell others about Jesus. Thank you, Bee, for reading that story to us today. You're welcome, Mama. If you've ever been in one of Miss Millie's classes, you know we like to sing a lot. So we thought we would sing one song, which I think you probably all know, and you can sing along with us. It's called Trust and Obey. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. Let us do his good will. He abides with us still. And with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. How great to know that the Holy Spirit is always with us. Let's say a little prayer and just thank him for always being with us no matter where we are or what we're doing. Lord, thank you so much that you sent your Holy Spirit to live inside our hearts if we just accept you. Thank you that we always can count on you no matter what. In Christ's name I pray, amen. amen. Friends, we miss you, we love you, and we can't wait to see you again soon. Bye! Bye!